Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have three pretty cool uh, stories to go over for you guys. One of them does include WWDC, so uh, this one does as well, kind of. Um, but recent trademark filings hint at possible names for macOS 10.14, Mojave, Sequoia, Ventura, or Sonoma. So uh, if we scroll down, you can see in this image right here, uh, these are the different trademark applications that Apple has filed. Now we don't know if it's Apple, but we're pretty sure it is uh, as a shell company. Uh, basically what they do is they make separate companies that aren't under the name of Apple. So Balboa Apps LLC. So they make this company, this LLC, and then they buy these names so that people don't know it's Apple, but okay, look, we all are pretty sure this is Apple. So um, these are some of the names that they've got now, Mojave, Sequoia, Sonoma, and Ventura. And if we scroll down a bit here, um, we, we're gonna find some interesting things. So first off, these four names that they have um, renewed, uh, there were other ones that they did not renew. So Diablo for one of them, uh, Redwood, Big Spur, Pacific, Miramar, Redtail, Condor, T Tiburon, and Shasta are all out. Uh, and additional two names, Mammoth and California, are suspended. So that means those are not gonna be the names. So we're pretty sure, actually, at this point, I'm pretty sure, I think that it's gonna be Mojave for the next one. We'll have to see about that. It is a California landmark name, but it's not in the uh, mountain ranges like the other ones have been. Now these are being trademarked uh, in Cambodia and the Philippines, which n is kind of odd that they're just in those places, but uh, yeah, that's that. So I thought that was interesting. Let me know down below what you guys think it'll be named. Uh, I'm going with Mojave just because it was actually trademarked in two different places. Uh, the rest were only filed in one place. So um, I don't know, we'll have to see. It's interesting uh, nonetheless. Next up, Apple sh shares its latest transparency report outlining government data requests from July 1st to December 31st, 2017. So this is for the second half of last year. And uh, worldwide, Apple received a total of 29,000 requests covering 309 devices and provided data 79% of the time, so 23,000 cases. But in the United States alone, Apple received 4,450 requests and for 15,000 devices and provided data 80% of the time. So um, I guess it's not terrible, but these are usually um, when law enforcement comes up with uh, subpoenas, court orders, search warrants, pen registers, trap and trace orders, or wiretap orders. So uh, the big takeaway here is uh, don't keep your stuff in iCloud. That's really the main spot that the government goes for, I think, uh, in these things. And Apple is not allowed to disclose the exact number of these but they are literally using the narrowest range that they are legally allowed to. So between 16,000 and 16,249. So that is, um, I don't know, that kind of gives you a really good idea of what it is. I mean, they could have said 16,000 to 30,000 and that would not have helped, uh, but this is pretty specific. So uh, thank you, Apple, for doing that. So at this point, if you just want your stuff secured, the main thing here is to not have iCloud on, the iCloud backups, iMessages in iCloud. Just think of all the things that are going through iCloud. You don't want stuff in there. Now, iMessage, if you're sending to another iMessage person, uh, it's supposedly end-to-end -end encrypted and um, Apple should not be able to get that key uh, to decrypt that data. I don't know. I mean, we just have to trust them at this point. But from what I'm seeing here, um, I think most of these requests are for iCloud or to unlock phones and stuff. iCloud, stay away if you're concerned about your privacy. But anyways, that's that. All right, next up, this is the WWDC one. So some MacBook Pro shipping dates slipped to June 6th, hinting at WWDC refresh. Uh, so if we scroll down, you can see delivery dates for Apple's 13-inch MacBook Pro without the touch bar have recently slipped to June 6. This is several days after the WWDC 2018 keynote and could indicate that, a ref that refresh models are coming soon. Spotted by Mac Observer, the 13-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar and 15-inch models are still shipping in as fast as one day. However, we could see those shipping times follow suit. Since they haven't actually followed suit yet, that could be a little concerning to some people because there have been rumors uh, that the lower end one, the one without the touch bar, could just get... Um, I don't know, not renewed, basically get gotten rid of. So we'll have to see, and these ones might get refreshed later, but if these start to slip as well with their dates, I'll monitor it over the next few days. But if these start slipping as well, we can almost be sure that at WWDC, we will see new MacBook Pros. So I'm super excited about it. And uh, well, obviously we'll have to see what Apple does in the coming weeks, but hopefully they fix the butterfly keyboard and because that's actually opened up two class action lawsuits right now and probably more in the future. We also saw Intel's release of the six core i9 chipset that could possibly be used in the 15 inch MacBook Pro. If the price isn't crazy, I'm getting that one because that is gonna be a beast. And you might even get a quad core in the 13 inch. Stay tuned for that. I will have more rumors on this because this is uh, very important to me because I am probably gonna be getting one of these 
and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.